Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Havna. So in today's video, we are going to talk about different visualization types in Power BI by categories. Uh, so as we know, Power BI is a very uh, important tool for creating business intelligence uh, reports, uh, which consists several uh, charts and visuals. Uh, there are several visuals which are available within the Power BI, like built-in visuals. Uh, which I am going to talk about in a short while but but if you want to add some custom visuals uh, we can uh, achieve the same but we have to download it uh, that's a separate topic uh, which uh, I'm going to cover in the future videos but today we are, we're gonna focus only on the built-in uh, visuals available so visualizations are very important aspects in Power BI which represents your raw data into some meaningful information in a form of chart or uh, some visuals uh, all visualization types in power bi based on the same data set so we can add visuals by creating a report while modifying a report we can pin all the visuals to the dashboards so today we'll see uh, one by one based on the categories so these categories are uh, based on their behavior like a bar chart column chart line chart area and pie chart so few of the chart you might have heard uh, while working in Excel. So they are similar to the Excel, but apart from Excel, we have bubble, scatter, donut, chart, gauge, fennel, and waterfall. Then on the other hand, we have text visualization. Uh, so text uh, visualizations are uh, used to represent some sort of text like single number of chart, multi-row chart. So it represents the multiple values in a same spot, uh, KPI key performance indicator chart which indicates a value towards uh, some measurable goal table chart and matrix chart uh, similar to you know row and column excel uh, table representation then we have geospatial uh, visualization so these are basically uh, represents uh, some sort of map uh, which includes latitude longitude uh, which represents some uh, locations some uh, ge geographical uh, elements uh, into the visual like map field map argus map then we have other visuals uh, which has tree map slicer and image so tree map uh, uh, it is like a rectangular nested uh, representation of data with the different colors available slicers are most commonly used in uh, power bi uh, like filters so we can filter based on some value which um, uh, reflects in the report and then we have image so we can add any image any logo so now uh, we'll see all the visuals alive logged in so i logged into my credential on uh, app.powerbi.com the login version of power bi so under my workspace uh, we have reports dashboard workbooks and data set so, so in my last video we have seen uh, how to create a report using excel so i'm going to use the same report today my prod info in order to modify i'll edit this report so on the right hand side you can see uh, the visualizations so where you'll find all the different visuals which uh, i talked about uh, based on the category and we have fields so each visual have different behavior uh, based on its uh, value selected based on the field selected and at the bottom of the this report you can see uh, there's a plus icon so i have added so many pages to uh, demo all the different categories of visuals so we can add wherever we want and if you want to remove we can uh, click on this uh, icon so it will delete this page okay so on the very first page, I added all the chart related visualizations like uh, here you can see uh, the clustered bar chart and here I selected some uh, filters, some values, uh, month, sale and uh, year. So it is showing us the monthly sale information in the form of this bar. Again, it's another representation which is showing the product profit. So this is a clustered column chart then we have uh, the similar representation stacked column chart this is called stacked bar chart where it will show 100% monthly profit 
moving forward in a page 3 this is stacked column chart again so it will uh, represent your uh, data in a form of uh, vertical stripes this is a line chart yeah so it represents your data in a form of a uh, line it shows the variation based on the value selected so here uh, it shows the yearly sales profit so we can identify based on the colors here we are indicating uh, which color represent what then we have area chart so here uh, the major difference between line chart and area chart uh, is that it is also a combination of lines but these are filled lines colored lines as you can see here so it is showing uh, yearly sales gross sale uh, in a form of different colors this is stacked area chart similar to line and area chart moving forward this is called line and star column chart so it's a combination of both which we have seen before line and cluster column chart This is called the ribbon chart because uh, it uh, represents the data in a form of uh, different stripes as you can see here in a form of ribbon. So if you hover here you will see product sale information. Then we have waterfall chart. It is uh, mostly uh, commonly used uh, chart representation which shows uh, different stages uh, and changes over a period of time. This is a pie chart, very, very, very commonly used and important uh, visual, which you'll find in Excel as well. So it shows the different uh, sections. Then we have bubble chart. So it will uh, show your information into form of different bubbles. Each bubble has a different uh, color, sort of color, as you can see here. Again, we have pie chart and then this is a donut chart. So pie chart and donut chart look similar, but only difference is that uh, in donut chart, uh, you will see uh, some sort of, uh, it shows the little part of the entire uh, area. Like here you can see uh, that this section is entirely showing the monthly sale but here only the small portion so it's 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 kind of a donut in a shape this is the only difference then we have tree map chart so tree map uh, it's a rectangle nested representation of data uh, which uh, has a different color different sections of representation this is a map uh, which consists of uh, latitude, longitude, uh, zip, address. So as you can see here, I selected country and date. So it is representing uh, the geospatical locations here. Sorry. Final chart. So final chart, uh, it shows the process that has several stages in a sequential way as you can see here the, it represents different different stages again representation of final chart this is a got chart so it displays the current status in the context of a goal Card chart it is showing a value then we have uh, KPI, Key Performance Indicators, which indicates uh, some sort of value towards a goal. So gauge and the KPI, yeah, both are representing some sort of value, but the representation is a little bit different. This is a slicer, uh, like I was talking, uh, it is a filter. So you can filter your value, uh, filter your data based on some values. So I can change these values and you can see how other visuals are uh, behaving as soon as I change the filter value. 
it is called visual interaction so if you want to stop this kind of feature we can also do that which uh, i'm going to take in a future video not today so i'm changing some values and it is reflecting in other visuals then we have table and matrix in uh, which represent a uh, column and the rows similar to excel uh, table and lastly we have argis map so it indicates a strong uh, representation of color to showcase a particular area into geographical location so i hope uh, you find this uh, video informative and uh, if you have any any information please uh, do comment me and don't forget to hit uh, like and subscribe this channel so that you can receive all the notification for the future videos thank you so much and have a nice day